Okay, Debbie. You got this. Okay, so Peacock King is like the chief deity of a really super insular religious group in like the in like Kurdistan, and they in the, they're like super religious, like anyone who and super insular because like anyone who even marries outside their tribe is like automatically considered to have converted away. Huh. Yeah, and... Seems like that might be a result in a low population. Yeah, it's like less than a million, maybe. Shit! So who's Malu and the Accursed? Shh, that I don't know. M-A-L apostrophe U-N. Yeah, I'm, I'm... Hammer! Look, we barely even know about... You know, the, the Yazidi people. I don't think we're going to get much information on who their Satan figure is. Whoa, 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 there's like three of them. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Shoot the one in the middle. Okay. Break the mirror. Yeah. Through a window of time, we spy the great alchemist Paracelsus penning notes detailing the creation of a homunculus. The semen of a man who has been hanged to death is collected and baked into a mound of horse manure. The resulting creature will serve the magician who creates it. That is a disgusting fact. That's, uh, that's magic for you. Yeah. Whoa, blood. Shit, this thing is teleporting. Up. This thing is being tricky now. Well, I mean, you don't get to be the religious antithesis of a, you know, of, a, of an insular ethnic group without, you know, some tricks up your sleeve. Get out of it. Okay, was that the last one? Let's see if it's the last one. Uh, oh, no, no, there's more mirrors. I mean, there's a lot of mirrors in this place. <laughs> Does it have to be specifically a mirror, or is it just any reflective surface? Because that gets really complicated. <laughs> Let's hope it's just mirrors. I mean, otherwise we'll be here all day. Hey. How do slide projectors work? They project things. And there's a mirror in them. Is like, there? Yeah, because you got to reflect the light. I assume. Let me get my copy of the way things work. Now the only place you can flee is into the projector mirror. Yeah. And will that, if I'm lucky, ah, uh, oh, he went in the wrong image. Ha ha! Quick access inventory updated. Because <laughs> he couldn't recognize which one was the physical reality and which one was the image. See. Wow, that's just... That's just a ridiculous death. I wish you could have changed it to, like, you know, some of Montag's vacation photos. Yeah. 
But I think it was a vacation photo. Look, it it it, it doesn't count because no one was wearing a Hawaiian shirt in it. It looked like sand and yeah. palm trees and water. You know what? Yeah, I want to see like you know HJ in like a Hawaiian shirt with a coconut drink, and then the monster just his arm around him, holding like a you know holding like a margarita. They're having a good time. Uh, I remember seeing this in HJ's file. No one's past is perfect, but still, this causes a bit of a PR nightmare. Guess who gets to smooth it over with the Peacock King? Uh. This is why I get the big bucks. Oh. Um. Okay. That raises a lot of questions. That I am not going to think about. No. No, we are not. I wish I could say this isn't how I plan my sweet 16. But really, I haven't known any other life. They took me in here when I was 12. The youngest enrollment since, like, ever. My parents huh. didn't want to let me go, but what else could they do? Pay off another trashed house, an interstate move? They still apologize wow. in every letter from home. Oh. Poor girl. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, that that hurts. Yeah, her parents are so much nicer than mine. Mm, I'm sorry. I what? hadn't talked to them for about for about Jesus six years since before even before the B. Oh man, some anything something happened between you? <sighs> they believe in a fair world. Hmm. And so... They couldn't understand, and I couldn't tell them. Man, that's rough. Here? The teacher straight up told me I had a great responsibility for the way the world would be. Heavy, right? That's like graduation speech stuff. And I got hit with it before puberty. So I pretty much became the outcast loner chick with a dark secret. Just like in Danny's comics. Hmm. Danny's sweet and kind and more worried if I like his corny 80s movies than whether my powers are going to fry us both. That's pretty Aww. cool. To not be judged by a normal person. That is mostly normal. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, yeah. Smith. Child survivalist, you know, probably isn't exactly normal. She is a beautiful sim mineral, and we are going to save her. You want to hear something weird? Sure you do. You're just getting warmed up. I haven't even told Miss Usher this yet, but... Around the time things started going wrong, I started seeing people. Other kids. Uh -huh. I think other kids like me. You know, with powers like me. Interesting. It's the least crazy reason I can come up with to explain it. Okay, that sounds important. There's a girl. Huh. A few years younger than me who lives with her mom and dad and watches the snow come in from big mountains. Maybe Alaska? My geography's not so great. And a boy. He's tiny, but way smarter than he should be. He solves algebra when he's nervous. He's at a school in some suburbs, with kids in yellow raincoats and, like, little sailor suits. Huh. Is he in Japan, maybe? That... that sounds like the annoying kids in the Gamera movies. I don't know what it means. Prince maybe of I'm Space? i special friends for when the real ones let me down. But it seems so real. The colors and the light. And I hope nothing's happened to them. Nothing like what happened here. I can almost guarantee that something probably did. It's weird. I mean, have you been doing like that? Have you been, like, seeing anyone or, like, hearing any voices? Have I been hearing any voices? Point taken. hope this doesn't put you off further education.
Miss Usher has done her best to prepare me for the future. She warned me that there will be people who will try to exploit my gifts. Like having this strangers with candy talk, you know, but with magic. <laughs> I know this academy is owned by the Illuminati. And they don't, don't let anyone exploit you. Mm -hmm. They'll want something in return for my education, right? Giving back to secret society. And I've already been offered a full scholarship at Oxford. The magical Oxford. That's the Templars. I knew by the look on Miss Usher's face. And I got a weird note with some Chinese signs on it. At least it looked like Chinese to me. Dragon? Probably the dragon. See, I don't want to use my gifts Korean looks anything. nothing like Chinese. All I want is to learn how to well, control it, it, them. So I don't have to use it them. Does if, it does if that makes any sense. It does if you have no idea what Chinese looks like. Yes, exactly. Remember that the... Jesus Christ, let's try the kanji. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, she's wearing a skeleton leg. I didn't notice hey, that until she can stood I up. Talk to you, chosen one to, you know, chosen one, about a big problem. <laughs> Obviously, not as big a problem as all the other big problems you guys are dealing with outside those walls, but still, help. Okay. Yeah. So the practical alchemy class keeps racks of replacement familiars hung up in the basement. At what? least a dozen for every student. It's called practical alchemy for a reason. It's not as gross as it sounds. Okay, it pretty much is as gross as it sounds. Now they're waking up. A whole army of creepy dolls right under our feet. Miss Usher and Mr. Montag want me on the bench for this game, and I know it's to keep their star player from getting injured mid-season. But it feels more like being in the penalty box. I want to step up to bat. I, I mean, I, I want to help out. Okay, I use even I know that was mixed metaphors. Really <laughs> freaky ones. You know, they warded the school from the inside because of me. I'm tired oh. of being scared of it. Being made sick by it. Maybe that's how my powers want to be used. For me to just say the words and tear it all down. Look, if I set it off, I kind of need someone to make sure I can stop again. Like a chaperone. It's not quite the Halloween prom, but... Well, that's where this all started. Worst prom night ever. Oh, it must have been a costume prom, and she's been stuck in here ever since wearing that... wearing her costume. I don't know. She, she does kind of seem like the kind of girl who might just wear skeleton leggings. I'm pretty sure it's a costume. I guess. Also, I mean, with you in that jacket, this kind of looks like a scene from, like, lesbian high school romance. I am way too old for her, okay? She has, she has a beautiful central, and I'm going to protect her. Hypothesis. Exploiting Carter's amplifying power to allow the industrial application of wards to the stricken school. Possible drawbacks. Uncontrolled amplification. Intense thermonuclear devastation. What? Hypothetical prevention of hypothetical drawback. Use exceedingly small dosages of anima as might be extracted from a familiar skull. Extracted oh. anima power would be a matter of microjoules. An auspicious number of dosage, say seven, combined with a wand manipulator, infused into the portable wand generator... Pure ward, ward generator yeah. trialed by the class of 09 note to self do not mention the trialing of the class of 09 oh dear god best case scenario charged ward generator reaches resonation point with carter's potential worst case scenario too dreadful to consider revisit yeah i would revisit that quick access inventory updated I can, with this, I can make a um, a ward. A ward, yeah, mm -hmm. to protect myself. Yeah, you're supposed to remind me to get this one up here. Oh yeah, shit. News clippings fall like dead leaves, hinting at the supernatural events the Kingsmouth population is exposed to. Louder still is the rustling of the clippings that could have been. Protecting the citizens from the paranormal and covering up the traces is a full-time labor for the faculty of Innsmouth Academy. 
I'm sorry, I get distracted, you know? It's... There's a lot going on. I don't have, like, the... You know, the, the databases we had back at the Illuminati. I've had to make everything from scratch. Suggestion, um... You're living over Dave Screed. Yeah? He knows some shit, even if he doesn't know he knows some shit. I'm just saying. You might be able to get some stuff from him. Well, I mean... You know how sometimes I just seem to know stuff? Yeah... Talking with Dave is like having the voice, you know, who knows stuff, shouting at me like, you know, it's like Neil deGrasse Tyson shouting at the scientific inaccuracies in an episode of Star Trek. Oh. Yeah. Well, you can at least, talk, you can at least, you can at least hack his computer. I mean, he's using, he's using some old software. He's got some weird shit on that computer. It's worth a, worth a shot. I, mean, I think I saw furry porn of me. Huh? Yeah, I mean, like, sexy drawings of me as, like, a German shepherd. I don't know how or why or when. But he, he's got them and I've seen them. Are you sure it was you? He had a name tag. Okay then. Please, no running in the halls. They are quite flicky. Oh, it's a, the war generator, not the wand generator. Oops. Oh. Okay. To be fair, those are two similar things. The manifest agitator and the manifold distributor. Yeah. Seriously. Oh, she's back. Ah, she's gone. I got the ward generator. Okay. Let's go generate us some wards. Oh, no, I do need the wand and I over the thing. Uh... You know, let's just let the familiars take it. Quick access inventory updated. Quick access inventory updated. There we go. Please All right. Now I can go meet Carter in the basement. 